So last year we said that the NFC West was the best division in football. Okay, and, and it, you know, it had the best teams, right? You had the the Seahawks, you had the uh, uh, Cardinals, right? You had the 49ers and you had the Super Bowl champions, the Rams, right? That was a solid division. Okay, this year, the most difficult division in football is going to be the AFC West, right? You have the Chiefs, you have the Chargers, you have the Raiders, right? And then you have the Broncos. That is gonna be a solid division, especially considering all the moves these teams have made in 2022. The Chiefs, you have the trio, right? You have Mahomes, you have Hill, you have Kelsey, and then you have one of the best coaches in football in, in Andy Reid. They're gonna be losing Tyron Matthew, right? Which I think is kind of big to their defense, but there's a reason why they've dominated this division. They're a good team. When, when they're firing on all cylinders, the Chiefs are a legit team. I don't know if this division is so easy for them this year, though. I'm not making predictions yet, but I may end up going with another team. That's how much I feel this division has changed literally overnight. I mean, look at the Chargers. Think about what the Chargers have done. They brought in JC Jackson, right? They brought in uh, 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 Khalil Mack. They brought in the nose tackle Austin Johnson and Je uh, Sebastian Joseph Day. Now, think about that for a second. Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. That, I mean, their pass rush is going to be, re I mean, it's improved big time. And now that Khalil Mack is playing on, is playing on a team that's going to compete, he's going to go back to being Khalil Mack, okay? When you're playing on a team that's not competing, right, you kind of lose that fire. You don't think he's excited to go play in LA for the Chargers, for an up-and-coming quarterback like uh, Justin Herbert, right? For a defensive-minded coach. You remember... When, 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 when the uh, head coach was uh, the DC for the Rams, one of the best defenses in football. Khalil Mack's going to be fired up. Joey Bosa's going to be fired up. But it's not just that. They're secondary. Oh, my God. They have Nasir Adderley. They picked up J.C. Jackson, right? You know, they have, uh, who's the other guy? Asante Samuel and Derwin James. Mr. Pro Bowl, Derwin James. How the Patriots let J.C. Jackson get away is mind-boggling. It's almost like the Patriots are running their organization like they still have Tom Brady, like they can still let those pieces get away. But who am I? You know, he, he's Bill Belichick, greatest coach ever. You know, maybe he'll prove me wrong. But I think that loss for the Patriots, especially considering all the moves going on in their division, is going to be a huge loss for the Patriots and a major pickup for the LA Chargers. Matter of fact, I'm not even sure if the Rams are the best team in LA anymore. This Chargers team, Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Derwin James, uh, uh, Asante Samuel, you know, Nasir Adderley, and now uh, J.C. Jackson. Are you kidding me? Even uh, Sebastian Joseph Day, he was a big part for the Rams defense up the middle. Like this Chargers team. And then Justin Herbert, top five passing yards, passing touchdowns. Matter of fact, I want to say top three and top five with QBR. He's a superstar. He's a superstar you know, uh, going into his third year, this guy's going to have a monster year with a team that's surrounded with major talent, right? The more I talk about it, the more I'm selling myself on, I'm going to pick this team to win the division. Yes, even over the Chiefs. Then you have the Broncos, right? You have Cortland Sutton, you have Jerry Judy, and who do they pick up? Russell Wilson, quarterback from the Seahawks. Now, I know his numbers were down last year, but when he's cooking, right? Let Russ cook. When he's cooking, he's dangerous. Okay, now you've given them this receiving core, you know, with, with Denver, you know, a mobile quarterback that can throw on the run, right? Always, always keeps his eyes up, always looks downfield with this type of talent surrounding him. Okay, Denver's going to be dangerous this year. Okay, not only that, they picked up Randy Gregory. Okay, they picked up Randy Gregory from the Cowboys, which was a total surprise. A lot of people, when they look at the Cowboys, they compare them to Tampa pre-Tom Brady, right? A team that had a lot of talent. That was kind of close, not making it to the playoffs, not winning, but they were just missing that one piece. That's what many NFL experts feel about the Broncos this year, that Russell Wilson's going to be that one piece they needed, you know, to get over the hump. Then you have the Raiders, okay? you, you, you know, the Las Vegas Raiders. You have Derek Carr, who I've always felt he's a top 10 quarterback. I feel like he gets no love, he gets no recognition, and he gets all the blame, right? You finally have given him the right coach. Josh McDaniels, I know he made a mistake in the past, kind of a big head, right? And things didn't go right. But we know he knows what he's doing. He's had tremendous success in New England. Josh McDaniels with Derek Carr is a perfect mix, okay? And you can see that Josh McDaniels 
is already making big moves. Because who did he bring in? Devontae Adams. And that says a lot that Devontae was willing to leave Aaron Rodgers, even though Green Bay was willing to match the offer. But that's a whole other story. But you have Derek Carr and Devontae Adams, okay? You know, uh, with the rest of the talent there, right? They have the running game uh, with Josh Jacobs. You know, th this is well-coached talent, top 10 quarterback with one of the best receivers, if not the best receiver in football. And then they brought in Chandler Jones from uh, the Cardinals. Okay, this is one of the premier pass rushers in the NFL, and you're hooking him up with Max Crosby. Okay, the Raiders could potentially, you know, compete to win this division. When you look at the Chiefs, who have earned the right to just be respected no matter what happens, right? And you look at, you know, the Broncos and what they did, the Chargers and what they did, and the Raiders and what they have done, this division is going to be insane. It's going to be one of the most fun divisions to watch in football. Okay, I'm not a fan, really, of any one of these teams, but I'll be watching all their games just because it's going to be exciting. You know, all these teams could potentially have a high-flying offense, right? All these teams could potentially have, you know, a premier defense, a premier pass rush, you know, a legit secondary. They're all well-coached, right? This is going to be a bombastic, dynamic, high-flying, high-scoring you know, insane type of football division to watch, right? And I haven't picked my team yet, but I'm kind of feeling the Chargers right now. You know, and I know that's saying a lot because, the, you know, the Chiefs have earned, you know, their respect because they just keep winning and winning and winning this division. But I have a feeling this is going to be Justin Herbert's year. I have a feeling Justin Herbert's going to take that next step. And, and we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Patrick Mahomes puts him in check. But this is going to be a fun division to watch this year. Hey everyone, thank you for watching SP Sports today. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. This way you are notified when we post new videos. Also, if you have a moment, leave a comment and check out our other videos.